I, I really don't get... There are some times when I'm playing a game and I just think to myself, like, why? Why? Why does the person who made this game think this was a good idea? I don't understand. Yeah, fog's pretty thick, my dude. Yeah, eternal lamp. All right, can't ask you anything. That's cool. You? I'm done reading all of this text, by the way, because I'm already tired of having to read every bit of text from talking to every single one of these people. Still no one down here. You have to go to the Aya to initiate another cutscene? Oh, my word. This game and its information collecting shenanigans, I just accidentally went to Juness. That was a misclick by me. Let's go on over to the Aya. And see what happens. Do I have to interact with the Aya? You have to gather information, try asking some of the nearby people? No, I can't. I also, not in a million years, would have ever known to interact with the Aya. Hey. This is, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna harp on it much because I've already made my feelings clear on it. There's no reason to, like, you know, keep beating the yield and drum. This is, like... Really not good <laughs> to have in a game, I feel like. I already, I talked to all of you, even quest marker guy. Who do I, who can I talk to? Do I really just have to talk to all the people I've already talked to again? It's the only thing I can think of. All right, you're worthless. Same thing. Doesn't look like you find any more information on the incident last... Okay, so I don't ask about murders anymore. I only ask about suspicious people now. Is that what the game is telling me? Have I seen any other weird people aside from Amatami san No, I don't think so. Oh, I should report back to the... Oh, okay. You just have to keep talking to people until the game decides, hey, you're done now. That's so weird. Oh, now I'm at the Aya. <sighs> you seriously pooped. Thank goodness no one else is at the Aya today, so we can talk freely. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. Yeah, not even the owner or the cooks of the Aya appear to be here as we're talking about this. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. I don't see anyone there. Who are they talking to? Are they talking to the ghost that runs the counter when everyone else is gone? You all finished eating the dishes that you ordered. Oh, the ghost came through. Nice. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. Spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? Yeah, basically. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, 
deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Someone who could approach my house without arousing suspicion this is literally like only a dachi. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. You decide to go outside and get some fresh air. Ah, sure. Let's go chat with Nalto, I guess. Ah, it's snowing. How nice. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Snow will do that. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. Must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go over to everything you know one more time. Culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. I have no idea how Adachi or any other possible killer has a connection to both of them, to be honest. The only one that seems to have a connection to them both is Namatame. Judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Saki Konishi either, despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation. There must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... It's absolutely Yukiko, 100%. That's why Teddy's gone. Teddy knew that we were on to him, and then he was like, time to hit the highway, and then he's, he's out. He's out of here. You have three guesses or else bad ending? It's, it's, it's like gotta be Adachi, right? Like who else? By the way, this is insane. I only get three guesses, but there are like over 13 options. This is mad. It was Kashiwagi. <laughs> I don't even remember who Hiragi is. Oh my goodness, there's still more. <laughs> How on earth, why would it, if you guess Yumi, then you deserve to lose. Who the heck is Eri Minami? Hisano is death lady. Shu is the small child who isn't, uh, what's her face? He's gotta be a dodgy, right? Especially out of all these options. Oh, it's not a, not a, it's Nanako. <laughs> it's Nanako. No, it's like... Oh, Aerie is the temperance woman. I think you're right, yeah. Kashiwagi is the the teacher who shows her bra all the time. I get three chances, right? I'm gonna say Nanako once. <laughs> would that be physically possible? Even assuming she can enter the TV, she would have had to carry victims who were more than twice her size. Stupid voice in my head underestimating Nanako's pure power. It would be absurd to suspect her as the killer. That's just what Nanako wants you to think. Nothing else. She was an innocent victim who got caught up in the incident. I th she fooled you. She Nanako has pulled the wool over the magical voice in this guy's eyes. She's actually played the magical voice for a fool. For the sake of the suffering child and her father, you must find the true culprit behind all this. You should rethink this. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... It's Literally, it has to be a dachi. And then if it's not a dachi, then I'll let chat tell me the right answer. I mean, if it's... First... I want it to be clear, it doesn't matter who it is. Out of all the options, I hate all of them. Because it's either Adachi, which was made painfully obvious at the beginning, and then just never did anything to make Adachi seem like the killer after that, which is just madness. There's also the fact that there's literally, like, no one else to legitimately pick, which means this is stupid regardless, that the game didn't try to fool you. Because after you clear Namatame of being the killer, there's no one else it can be other than Adachi. 
It's it's just honestly, I just think they. It's the exact same thing with Persona 5. And this is a problem I have with both Persona games. I have a problem with Persona 5 and Persona 4 for this. At the start of Persona 4, they make a big deal about figuring out who the killer is. At the start of Persona 5... So to my throat, sorry. They make a big deal about figuring out who the traitor in the team is. But after that, it's literally just like, oh, obviously it's Akechi. And then in this case, if this is right, it's like, oh, it's obviously Adachi. And there are never... I think Persona 5 even does it a little bit better. Because in Persona 5, for a little while, I actually thought that Makoto or Yusuke could be the person. You know what? Here's a better way for me to word it. I don't have the same problem with both of them. I have a problem with the final execution. In Persona 5, they make it out where you have a traitor from the start. At times, especially when you're going through Sai's palace, there's legitimate reason to suspect Haru because you're fa because you just failed at saving her father and her father died, so maybe she'll betray you as a result because she doesn't trust you anymore. They make a good point for Makoto being the traitor because Makoto might like not want to get her sister in trouble or like do like fight against Sai. And then they make a good point for Yusuke, because I remember in Persona 5, leading up to that, Yusuke was acting really shifty and, like, being like, oh, do I have to show up to the team meeting? It would cost a lot for me to get on the train to get there. Which fits Yusuke's character, but also makes him suspicious. So, but in the end, they're just like, uh, lol, no, it's a catchy because obviously, of course it would be a catchy. That's the one who you get the least, uh, bad stuff happening as a result. So, uh, that's my problem with Persona 5, is that, like, they actually had a chance for it to be someone unique, but then they're just like, lol, it's Akechi who shows up at the very end and has the least impact from being the traitor overall. In this game, my problem is, is that, that there's no one to suspect. Everyone that you suspect shows up immediately and is almost immediately discredited. Namatame took a little bit longer to discredit, but the minute Mitsuo showed up, you're like, it's not Mitsuo, we know it's not Mitsuo. When Namatame showed up, you're like, it's most likely not Namatame. Maybe? Maybe it's Namatame, but most likely it's not. The only one that is suspicious is Adachi, and Adachi is only suspicious for, like, one scene at the very start of the game. Other than that, he's not suspicious at all. So there's no amount of figuring out or being like, maybe it's this person or maybe it's this person. So, you know, there's my, there's my problem with Persona 5 and Persona 4 with the way they do this. So, you know, there you go. I just wanted to, uh get that across. And so now I'm going to pick Adachi, who I'm like 98% certain is the killer now. Of course, if you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. You learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There is no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. Ah, of course. However, All of the rank-ups I had. Should you tell your friends about your suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? Yeah, w why not? Protect Adachi! <laughs> Yo, you know what? Adachi, he's a crazy killer, potentially. But you know what? He did hang out with me that one time when we were just chilling out at my house and he helped Nanako with her homework, if I remember right. So you know what? I'm going to protect my boy. No, obviously I'm going to tell my friends about Adachi. That's madness. I assume that's another bad ending right there or something. I'm actually a little intrigued to see what that one is, but uh, at the same time, like, there's there's no way. And if this one is the bad ending, then I'm mad at the game. Spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. If you had selected the other option, you would have gotten the Accomplice ending, which is another bad ending. This is the Yaldabaoth contract of Persona 4. That one, I don't mind that ending existing. That one is fine. That's just like at the end of Persona 5. I'm cool with that, because it's super obvious that, like, hey, if you choose this, you're getting, like, you're doing something that will lead to, like, not getting what is considered the true ending. That's fine. The stuff where you had to, like, choose six correct answers in a row with Namatame, that I still hate. That is trash. But that, that's fine. I don't mind that existing. That's cool. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. 
You only get the option to protect Adachi if you got his rank high enough. That also makes sense. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Oh, what's been bothering you about him? Is it the fact that there's literally no other possible suspect in the universe aside from Adachi? Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Ms. Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? I didn't know that! That incredibly incriminates him, Yukiko! Why have you not mentioned this before? When Miss Yamana was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Hmm. Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. It's really nice of you guys to bring up all this information now. This, For the majority of the game, I was only like 50% sure on Adachi being the killer. If you had mentioned all this crap to me at the very start, I would have been 100% from the get-go. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. Uh, obviously Adachi is the killer now, like there's almost zero doubt in my mind at this point. Like, at worst, I'm 99.9999% positive that Adachi is the killer. All I'm saying is, is that this line of reasoning, we've run into him a lot, is idiotic. I've run into all of you a lot, I've run into Dojima and Nanako a lot. Nanako is the killer, as we know, but I've run into Dojima a lot. Is he the killer? And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. I'm guessing that oops, I said too much is this game's pancakes compared to Persona 5. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. You know what, Lone Wolf, you're right. I've run into myself a lot. Am I the killer? Various peculiarities have begun... Peculiarities, I can say words, have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on a duchy. Then... Is it really a duchy son? A duchy? A catchy? Huh? Huh? There are only two letters apart from the same name. Is this, is this something that can give me a bad ending, chat? Do I have to say something specific here? Or does it not matter? I assume that if I say this, that's stupid. I need to say either it's him all right or we need to confirm this. I've only got like 15 minutes left. I hope I get a save point soon. I also hope that they don't skip me ahead too many more days because I have to rank up Marie by the 24th, right? So I need to like hang out with her as soon as possible. I'm good for a while, thank you. Yeah, we need to confirm this. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. It's another thing that I hate is that Adachi is the Jester Arcana, which, like, does not actually exist as far as I know, or is at least very, like, out there. It's not a normal Arcana. So again, that just immediately puts him at the forefront of, like, mm, man, who's the mysterious killer of the game that we're trying to find the whole time? Maybe it's one of the people with one of the... You know, rare, strange confidants.
This is Naoto Shiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Yes, I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input. Hello, Adachi. Yes, could you please tell me if you're the murderer? Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right. I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? In the original version of Persona 4, Adachi did not even have a confidant or a social link. Why does he have one in Golden, then? That's so stupid. Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. He's probably going to throw him in the TV. Things are moving quickly now. Feel you're getting closer to the truth. Yo, Judgment, it ranks up so fast. Alright. 